Hello and welcome to the highlights of the first T20 international here in beautiful Florida, Fort Lauderdale versus India and the West Indies. The weather absolutely balmy, I can tell you. Very, very hot, very muggy, very sticky indeed. And this is the wicket that the guys are going to play on. Very flat wicket, but it has been under the covers for a couple of days. Looks quite tacky. You see that dark brown colouring. Not a lot of grass on it. A little ball rolling over is there for us. But definitely a toss that either side would want to win. And as Carlos Brathwaite, skipper for the West Indies, flicked the toy coin up. Virat Kohli called right. He doesn't always call right, but he got it right today. And decided that India would definitely have a bowl first. The two teams, West Indies first use of the bat, Evan Lewis will be very happy to be playing against India. He's got a very good record, especially here in Florida against India. And of course, that big name, Karim Pollard there, the hero of the IPL. You all know about him. Some of the strokes he plays are definitely worth licking the lips for. For India, debuts for Navdeep Saini. will take the new ball, I'm sure, all early on. And then Rishabh Pant, one to look out for, taking over the role finally vacated by the brilliant MS Sony. Let's go to the middle for the action. Just a solitary match prior to this one for the left-handed Jamaican opening batsman, John Campbell. Had a solid, if not spectacular, test series earlier this year against England. Big 100 against in Ireland. 50 over matches more superior record for a more experienced player in Evan Lewis. Very respectable economy rate on par really with Sunil Narayan but much earlier in Sundar's career than Sunil Narayan on the other side. Blue Army is here. Virat Kohli said that he wanted to bowl because he felt the pitch might be a bit damp or spongy straight to mid wicket straight to mid wicket taken tumbling catch and Sunda strikes again the move to open with the off spinner has paid dividends straight away Kronal Pandya taking a safe catch. West Indies a one down, Campbell goes for naught. Nicholas Puran. Yes, and he's uh, been uh, the man in form. <laughs> now that could be a boundary. It's not going to be easy. The, uh, Outfield was soaked with rain. Still, it's pretty speedy. Another one down. The sound that will give great pleasure to Bhuvaneshwar Kumar and India. The knuckle ball, the ball's come very slowly. Yes, just glancing off the pads and uh, hitting the off stump. For the Windies as one of their main scorers, Lewis has gone for a duck. It's eight for two. And that's another fine shot. Oh, <laughs> made it look so easy, didn't he? And that's the first six of the match. Given a bit of air. He clears his front foot. Goes for it and has been deposited you look at this shot for a little man the power that he um he gets and you can see uh, the balance as well this time it's up in the air and risha punt underneath it mm, nearly made a meal of it on debut first over and a wicket for him and the dangerous Puran. You can see that um, we, you spoke earlier of the Windies going hard. This to me wasn't quite there for that particular shot. It was a little bit too full for me. And in the end, Punt um, looking rather cudgel trying to take that cut. It's uh, 28 for three. 
another aggressive batsman walks out. It's uh, Shimron Hetmeyer. Chopped on. It's been a dream debut so far. And very first delivery, a golden duck for Shimron Hetmeyer. Very disappointed, Hetmeyer. 28 for four. Here, yeah, what a start for Navdeep Saini on a hat trick. And safely negotiated. Oh, slashed away. Just a little bit of room. Was trying to take it away this time. Too much room. Is it been edged? It's been taken. Yes. Another nick, another pouch. And Windies are in deep trouble. West Indies 33 for five. It's captain, captain time, Carlos Brathwit. Polans goes down the ground. And the power takes him over the boundary line. Add six to the West Indies. Well, <laughs> I don't think they are going to wait to the 16th. This one flicked beautifully from Pollard. Just a little bit too full from Kunal this time. Oh, he's gone. Grathwaite looking to inject some pace into the innings. Plays off the back foot, can only hit it back down the pitch. Good court and bold. Kunal takes his second wicket. Give uh, a simple catch. 67 for six. Putting the Ryan in now. Well, this is big. Is it big enough? No, it's not. Caught in the deep. The Ryan gets a short delivery from Jadeja. And all he can do is miss it, the pull shot, into the deep. West Indies 70 for seven. Full toss, and it's been uh, deposited over the mid-wicket boundary. Movie for his final over. High in the air. This should easily be taken by Virat himself. Comfortable. And India continue to roll on here at Lauder Hill. So Kimo Paul goes for three. It's 88 for eight. appeal from Rishab. Rishab wants a review. He wants a review from Virat Kohli. Yes, and they go for it. It was straight, and it should be out as well. Yeah, no inside edge detected. I think he struck inside the line of the stumps. So that should be the end of Pollard, you'd think. Yep. And wicket's hitting. Given him. Saini wasn't initially convinced. It was like half a quarter of an appeal from him, but it was Rishabh Pant who we saw behind the stumps requesting his captain to review it. Yep. Well done, he says to Rishabh. That was a good call because he didn't appeal too strongly. And Karen Pollard, mm, still no half century. Dismissed for 49 by Saini, it's 95 for nine. Wicket Maiden in the 20th over. So 95 is all what Windies have got in this first T20 international here in Lauder Hill. An excellent day in the field, Virat Kohli 
made what we think is a good call of a toss given the moisture in the surface. His bowlers then did an excellent job. Bhuvaneshwar, Washington Sundar, then Navdeep Saini. Left arm spinners. Everyone doing an excellent job. 33 for six. It was, and then it's always an uphill battle. You can have the best batting lineup, but if you're continually losing wickets, it never helps. It never, ever helps. Narin can bat, Paul can bat. But what's the score? It's 95. Washington Sundar started it all. A six and then a wicket. Bhuvaneshwa Kumar, two for 19. Navdeep Saini on his debut, three for 17. Was and was on a hat-trick at one stage. Khalil, one for eight of two. Krunal Pandya and the two left-arm spinners. Very inexpensive. So here at Lauder Hill in Florida, India will need 96 runs from their 20 overs at an average rate under five and over. They've done well. Can they continue to do so in this opening match? Rich Sharma. What a player he has been for India. Most prolific batsman. He has this uncanny ability to convert his starts into centuries. As you say, Murali Kartik, grandfather centuries. Shikhar Dhawan, unfortunate to be ruled out of the World Cup after a brilliant 100 against Australia at the Oval. And his T20 career has also been on an upward curve. It's been one of the, the strongest or the best opening pairs for India in white ball cricket. This left-right combination. Here we go, first delivery, Shane Thomas. Loud shot and given. That's a big wicket for the West Indies. They would have been desperate to break this opening partnership. And guess who? It is Cottrell. Just missing it completely. I started walking back, and there comes the salute. Down for India, Shikhar Dhawan it is, and it's four for one. Captain of India comes to the crease. He has a very big reputation in international cricket. One of the best players in the game. Goes for the big shot. And goes all the way. Mohit Sharma might have given a spectator a catch, but uh, got a lot of bat on this one. That's what he's done successfully. That's what Virat Kohli was looking to do. But uh, Sharma has done that. He got a much better length. Beautiful, beautiful from Rohit Sharma. Wow. could be gone and yes he has this is the eighth time that Narayan's got uh, Rohit Sharma and he goes for the biggie don't think he quite connected it because it went flat and Karen Pollard never misses them 32 for two 